Hi guys. Sisense and Power BI are two of the most popular business intelligence tools, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Power BI and Sisense, and we'll consider three criteria to see how these two tools stack up. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. For the data visualization, data visualization is a key part of business intelligence software. Both BI tools offer various visualization options, including charts and graphs. SciSense allows users to track metrics and embed dashboards, widgets, and filters into applications for a fully customizable and interactive experience. Users can save their visualizations as web-based dashboards that are interactive and can be embedded in non sense environments, such as your websites or applications. SciSense's drag and drop interface for dashboard and visualization building makes it robust for business users. With a drag and drop interface that makes it easy to visualize data without writing any code, SciSense eliminates barriers to entry in BI software. Even those with no technical background will find this intuitive interface appealing enabling them to build powerful visualizations and dashboards quickly. Power BI allows users to create interactive, shareable dashboards. It offers a wide range of features, including built-in templates, drag and drop canvas, and real-time data analysis. Plus, it integrates with other Microsoft products like Excel and SharePoint. Users can leverage a variety of Power BI's library of pre-configured data visualizations, including charts, graphs, timelines, and calendars. They can also embed interactive Power BI content in blog posts, websites, emails, or social media using the Publish to Web option. And for the embedded analytics, tools such as SciSense and Power BI are commonly used by businesses to uncover internal data insights. They're also used to embed branded analytic dashboards into customer-facing apps and products. Both SciSense and Power BI offer this capability. For example, SciSense's Fusion Embed solution was designed just for building white-label analytic experiences inside apps. It empowers businesses to offer predictive analytics, natural language querying, and more for various skill levels. Power BI isn't quite as straightforward. There are two types of em embedded analytic offerings. First, is Power BI Embedded, which is built for developers. There's also embedding with Power BI, which requires Power BI Premium, a solution focused on enterprises. Businesses will need to choose the right solution to fit their needs. And for the pricing? Regarding pricing, Sisense doesn't provide any details on their website. They want you to contact them for a custom quote based on your specific needs. Power BI, on the other hand, has a detailed pricing page, and they have three plans. Pro plan starts at $9.99 per user per month. Premium plan starts at $20 per user per month. Premium per capacity plan starts at $4.995 per capacity per month. The decision of which software to use largely depends on what your needs are, but in terms of pricing, SciSense is more expensive than Power BI if you're looking for a one-time purchase with annual billing or an all-inclusive price. However, suppose you need customization and scalability features. In that case, SciSense might be worth the cost depending on how much they charge per project and the number of concurrent users needed by that project. Both providers offer free trials, so you can try out each product before deciding which one to buy. So choosing between Power BI and SciSense depends on your business and your needs. Both tools come with advantages and disadvantages, so there's no best solution. It will depend on your current needs. However, if you develop products that require near real-time updates, need embedded analytics, or work with non-technical users, then it might be better to choose SciSense. Alternatively, if you're looking for the best performance across multiple servers, platforms, and databases, then Power BI would be a good choice. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. Hopefully this video will help you out. And if it did, please leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.